Hi guys, what's up everybody? This is Master May or Kuya May and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, kakatapos ko lang ng work and it was uh, quite a long day. Pero worth it siya kasi yun yung part ng job ko is magbigay ng uh, kasiyahan sa mga tao. Normally kasi I'm taking a bus this time. I wanted to, I just wanted to walk to refresh, to recharge, to reflect. Kasi minsan kailangan din natin yung mga konting walk para makapag-isip-isip din tayo. Pakita ko sa inyo ha, pakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung dinadaanan natin. Okay, wait. Meron lang akong gustong ikwento sa inyo. Uh, the moment, medyo ang feeling ko is sad. Kasi uh, may nabalitaan ako na actually four people that I know has passed away. It saddens me kasi yung dalawa doon is uh, personally kilala ko sila. And they are really, really good people. And then yung isa naman doon is, uh, it's, a, it's a mom. Actually, lahat sila parents. It really saddens me. Kasi kung ako naramdaman ko yung ganong kalungkot, I just can't imagine yung pinagdadaanan ng family nila. Talagang may, may, may nawalan sila ng uh, kapamilya, lalong-lalo na kung super close sa kanila. So, I am praying for them. I'm praying for their protection. I'm praying for their recovery. I am with them, you know. Um, my prayers, and, and then for us as well, sana ibigyan natin sila ng prayers din. Very, very important. Na kahit na anong mala, layo natin sa kanila, prayers is the answer. Okay? Yan yung uh, pinaka the best na, na pwede natin ibigay sa kanila. Hi guys, um, yes, humanap lang ako ng pwesto para makapagsalita ako at makausap ko kayo. This time, parang hindi ko alam kung ano yung gusto kong sabihin. Hindi ko mixed emotions. Like I said, it saddens me. It made me think na wala talagang permanent sa mundo na to. It's really different. It's really hard. You know? Never know kung kailan tayo mahawala. So, what I'm suggesting is kung ano man yung natitira pa nating hininga, bakit hindi natin ito bigyan ng importansya? ba? Diba? I just don't know. It's medyo, medyo malungkot lang ako. Pero, we just have to fight for it. We just have to be strong. We have to be tough. Not only for ourselves, but for our family, for our loved ones. Kasi importante yun. Sa buhay natin ngayon, wala talagang permanent. But we just have to make the most of what we have right now. So, again, I'm praying for their families. I'm praying for their souls. May their soul rest in peace. So ngayon, I'm just gonna give you a little tips on how to live life to the fullest. Kasi lahat ng binibigay ko sa inyong tips is ginagawa ko rin siya. So, and it helps me in a way. So maybe makatulong din sa inyo. Ang gusto ko lang na outcome dito is I want you guys to share it as well. You know, at least nakatulong tayo, di ba? So, okay. Tip number one. Of course, as always, we have to be grateful. We have to be grateful for ourselves, for our health, for our family. Of course, paulit-ulit po ako. But then again, repetition is the mother of mastery. Diba? So repeat lang natin yan, parang sumasayaw lang yan. Kailangan mo mag-practice, kailangan mo i-repeat paulit-ulit yung steps para makuha mo. Same thing as yung thoughts natin, yung being thankful natin. Na paulit-ulit natin gagawin yan, ilalagay natin sa isipan natin, sa puso natin, and we will make it a habit, a good habit. Be thankful for them, everything for your protection, protection ng family, safety, health, blessings, work, 
business. Kahit minor details, I'm thankful for my hands, I'm thankful for my mind, I'm thankful for my body, I'm thankful. Just be thankful. We have so many reasons to be thankful for. Tip number two, let's be kind, let's be helpful, selfless. Diba parang ang sarap sa pakiramdam nun? Na-realize nyo ba one time na kung meron kayong isang, natulo, isang taong natulungan, hindi lang family mo, hindi lang spouse mo or husband mo or partner mo or girlfriend mo or boyfriend mo. Pero when you helped a stranger, meron kayong feeling na naramdaman. Naramdaman nyo yung, uh, may term tayo dyan eh. Ang term natin is sobrang gaang ng pakiramdam. ba diba? Lahat tayo nagkaroon ng ganong feelings. So, ang sinasuggest ko, bakit hindi na lang tayo maging addicted sa masarap na pakiramdam ng, dahil sa pagbibigay, dahil sa being generous, being kind to anyone actually. Hindi lang pipili-pili tayo to anyone, to everyone, to everybody. At least, dami yung mabuting tao sa mundo. ba? Diba? Ayaw nyo ba nun? Ako gusto ko yun. Third, of course, doon naman tayo sa physical. Lagaan natin yung sarili natin. Eat your greens. Alam ko na marami sa atin na hindi may lag sa gulay. Pero we just have to start now. Even my kids actually, medyo hard pakainin ng gulay. Pero we have to because we're thinking of the long term yun eh. Long term yun, hindi lang yun na short term. And then also exercise. Kasi ang nangyayari is we, if we exercise, tumalakas yung resistensya natin. At the same time, we feel good. Ang nangyayari kasi is, once na nag-start mag-exercise, go up agad. So, from 1 to one to 10, 10 agad gusto, 10 agad. So, ang tendency, ang nangyayari is, pinupush yung sarili up there na hindi pa ready. Kasi ano doon eh, condition doon eh. So, ni-reach mo agad yung 10, the next day, ang sakit ng katawan ko, ang sakit ng ganito ko, ayaw ko na. Ayaw na. <laughs> Yun na nangyayari. Ina advice ko sa inyo, gradual, gradual, one at a time lang, ano lang, slow baby steps tayo, baby steps. Always remember that. Kahit ano pang gawin natin na 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 exercise, always baby step. Kung hindi matagal yung hindi ginawa, baby step tayo. Yeah, slowly but surely. Pero mas maganda 'yon kung maging routine na natin. Okay, exercise. Okay, para naman dun sa mga may operation na hindi hindi okay sa likod nila or sa nila yung medyo strenuous, medyo hard exercises, I suggest you can do uh, super beginner yoga, which is I'm doing it right now. Na ngayon, super beginner. Alam nyo, saan nyo, ma, saan nyo makikita yon? Saan pa? Sa YouTube. Maganda kasi ang benefit ng yoga. Actually, yung isang kaibigan ko na trainer dito, siya nang mismo nagsabi na underrated ang yoga. Pero sobrang sobrang ganda ng yoga. Kasi it's all about stretching, it's all about breathing. Kompleto yun eh. Sa, from inside to outside. You don't have to you don't have to do handstand, katulad ng sinabi ko agad sa inyo. Hindi niyo naman kailangan na 1 to 10 agad. You have to do 1, 1 po, kahit 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. Gradual lang, baby steps lang tayo. Kasi daming magandang benefits talagang yoga. So that's my uh, three tips na I know na hopefully makatulong po sa inyo. So you you feel better, you will feel great. Damihan natin yung mabubuting tao dito sa, sa mundo natin. Especially gawin na lang natin sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. Hindi lang sa mahal natin sa buhay, kundi sa sarili nyo. Gawin na lang natin. So there you go guys. I hope you have learned something great today. And uh, don't forget yung tip natin, okay? First, always, as always, be grateful and be thankful. Second, just be kind and selfless and generous. And the third one, exercise. Okay? Is that clear? Thank you very much everyone for hanging out. Have a great day and have a marvelous mind. Love and peace. Take care.